Hey everyone, welcome to Vancouver Island Bushcraft. I am recording from my GoPro, so hopefully it's looking good because um, I haven't seen any videos yet, so this is the first one. So hopefully I'm not all zigzaggy. I um, was really intrigued with the stove um, video that I had done with the fat wood over at the bivouac. And I thought I had a client, or not a client, <laughs> I had a, um, a subscriber and he said, uh, that it would uh, work really good with a little less um, uh, fat wood in it and a couple others had some comments and stuff and I thought what if I made it bigger so you guys have seen the um, you know those uh, um, coffee canister stoves and uh, they're filled with insulation and that kind of thing I thought what if I made one that had an inner and outer chamber that actually had the holes like the little stove so I made one so this is what it looks like this is it right here and I have I burnt it last night um, last night I didn't have these bent over and I didn't have these large holes here and the flame went up to about here and then the inner chambers I have the small tiny holes I don't know if you can see them they're pretty small and uh, the uh, outer chamber caught just like that other um, stove and started uh, flaming up uh, under pressure. So I uh, increased the size of the holes, bent those pieces over, and um, I'm going to try to um, um, do the same thing that happened last night. I had some fat wood in there, some normal wood, and it burned really good. And the only difference is, you, get, you guys see these YouTube videos of how to make these, these coffee can stoves. The only difference is, is that um, obviously this piece here goes into, the inner can and the difference is this can here at the bottom has holes about this big all the way around the bottom of this can so as it's catching fire the smoke's going through those holes up into this outer chamber here um, igniting the smoke and the flames coming out of these holes so um, after work and it's going to be a little bit darker I'm going to light this thing up and we're going to see if this um, works like a, uh, a smaller stove uh, under pressure. Give it a shot. I haven't seen it made like this before, so hopefully um, um, it works really good. All right, guys, we're gonna light up the uh, fat wood here. All right. So if you want to take a look over here, we have a bunch of fat wood in here and I'm going to light it through here and then we're going to see what fat wood looks like <laughs> burning like crazy. It should be an interesting experiment with everything finished. There's one piece. Ignited. I can just leave this in here, I guess, because I don't really need to go crazy when it comes to igniting fat wood. It just ignites itself. So what I'll do is I will, um, I'll bring you guys back when um, it's uh, going up pretty good, and uh, we'll take a look and see uh, what it looks like. You guys can see the fat wood's catching. It's it's literally like there's an accelerant on it. Uh, but of course there isn't. I'll get as close as I can without burning my phone. Uh, this is probably 45 seconds in and um, it's uh, burning intensely. It takes nothing to burn uh, with this stuff. And then I'm, I'm anticipating once this gets really hot that the, um, the vapors will come through those holes on the outside and um, we'll get ourselves a, a stove that uh, has some kind of forced air. Okay, we're at about, um, <laughs> I'll have to back up here. We're at about a minute and a half and uh, the fire is um, pretty high. And uh, I'm anticipating that the burners will start any second here because the amount of flame is kind of ridiculous. Okay guys, the, uh, the secondary chamber has started to catch. See it's going on, and now we got really high fire. 
somewhat concerning because it's only about eight inches away from the top of my deck. But as you can see, the secondary burners have ignited and now we have a really crazy fire. Um, I'll just back up here. Yeah, this is like crazy. The uh, This worked really well, maybe a little too well. Yeah, so now we have forced fire um, on the burners. <laughs> this worked pretty much beyond expectation and uh, I'm pretty impressed with that so yeah that's uh there we go guys there's my my uh, version of the uh, coffee can burner with the um, inner and outer chambers <clears throat> and um, that's uh that's the kind of flame that I was looking for all right that's amazing well, thank you for joining me on Vancouver Island Bushcraft, and I'm going to go grab a fire extinguisher. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's under control. Don't worry, guys. I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, it is It is like forcing, forcing out. So thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, I'll talk to you guys next time.